Hi everyone, for today's topic, we're going to deal with the solutions of right triangles. Example one, we have to solve for triangle ABC given side A which measures 6 centimeters and side B which measures 11 centimeters. So we have to solve for the hypotenuse and these two angles. Let's solve first for the hypotenuse. Again, to solve for C, we have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So that will be the square root of the side A squared plus side B squared. So that is 6 squared plus 11 squared. So that is the square root of 36 plus 121, which will give us a square root of 157 centimeters squared, which will give us the value of hypotenuse equal to 12.53 centimeters. Now that we have the measures of these three sides, we can now solve for the values of these two angles. To solve for alpha, we can use the tangent of alpha, which is equal to the side opposite it over adjacent. And to solve for this angle, given these two sides, we'll have to use the inverse tangent of a over b. So you can search for this function in your calculator. So inverse tangent of 6 over 11, so that will give you 28 degrees, 36 minutes, and 38 seconds. So that is the value of this angle. And to solve for beta, we can also use the tangent function which is equal to b over a. So why b over a? Because this angle, the side opposite to it is angle b, and the side adjacent to it is angle a. Now, by computing for the inverse tangent of b over a, so that is the inverse tangent of 11 over 6, so that will give you 61 degrees, 23 minutes, and 22 seconds. Or you can just simply subtract the value of angle alpha from 90 degrees. So that will give you 61 degrees, 23 minutes, and 22 seconds. So why did we subtract 90 from it? It's because these two angles in a right triangle are complementary angles. So when you add it up, it should be equal to 90 degrees. So if you already have a value of either of these two angles, so you can just subtract it from 90 for you to get the other value of the angle. Okay, so that's how you solve for right triangles. So you have to find for the measures of all sides and the measures of these two angles. Next example, solve triangle ABC given the value of angle beta, which is 26 degrees. 19 minutes and 11 seconds, and the value of C, which is 24 centimeters. The solution, we have to solve for A first. And as I said earlier, these two are complementary angles, so their sum is 90 degrees. Okay, so we can just subtract the angle from 90 degrees. So that is 90 degrees minus the angle given, which is 26 degrees, 19 minutes, and 11 seconds. So that will give us the value of the other angle equal to 63 degrees, 40 minutes, and 49 seconds. Now that we have the value of this two angles, so we still have to solve for the value of the legs. To solve for side A, we can use the function cosine beta, which is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So to leave side A on one side of the equation, we have to cross multiply this one. By doing the cross multiplication, we have to multiply the hypotenuse or C by the cosine beta. So A is equal to C cosine beta, which is equal to 24 centimeters times cosine 26 degrees, 19 minutes, and 11 seconds. So that will give us the measure of side A equal to 31.51 centimeters. And for side B, we can use the function sine 
which is equal to B over C. So sine is equal to opposite of the given angle over hypotenuse. This again, to leave side B on one side of the equation, we'll cross multiply it. So side B is equal to C times sine beta. So that is 24 centimeters times sine 20 degrees, 19 minutes and 11 seconds. So that will give us 10.64 centimeters as the measure for side B. Or you can just use the Pythagorean theorem formula to get the value of the other leg. Since the hypotenuse and the other leg is also even. You'll see that you're going to arrive at 10.64 centimeters as well. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. Thank you guys for listening and we hope that you learned.